Hello and welcome to Bilingual Analytics. My name is Roland and in this video series I would like to walk you through three really powerful data transformation tools in Power Query. In the final fourth episode of this series I will show you an example where we can combine all of these functions to transform an ugly duckling to a beautiful swan. But first of all please drop a like to this video and hit the subscribe button. Clicking on the bell icon will bring you good luck. As we are going to talk about Power Query, you can use these methods in Power BI and in Excel as well. But what are these operations? We are going to cover transpose, pivot columns and unpivot columns. It doesn't matter which video you are going to start with. I'll add the links to all videos to the end of each one and to the description below. Make sure to watch all of them to know when to use which one. In today's episode, we are going to cover unpivot columns. And just a friendly reminder, as this topic is a bit more technical, do not expect fancy report designs. With that out of the way, let's jump into this. The unpivot column option allows us to move columns to rows, which means that we can reverse pivoting. I honestly believe that this is a really powerful built-in data transformation tool for analysts or report creators. It's definitely the one that I use a lot. Why would I say that? Have you ever received a report like this one? Yeah, I know. It's ugly and challenging to analyze in any ways. But what if I tell you that you can teach Power Query how to transform the data into an easy to analyze structure? Something like this. Let me show you two examples as it will be a bit easier to understand what's going on here. The first one is just a simple unpivot. To start with, we have to select columns that we wanted to unpivot. Once again, these are going to be the ones where we want to move columns to rows. After that, we have to head over to the transform page on the ribbon and select the Unpivot Columns button. Once we clicked on that, you can immediately see that we have an attribute column. This is our date field. And we have our value column, which in this case is our quantities. If you want to be super efficient and save an extra step in the transformation, just change the name of these fields in a previous step. Just like this. And from here on, you can see it would be a breeze to analyze the data. As I promised, there is another way of unpivoting. Something that's going to be a little bit more efficient or future-proofed. Let's say that we will receive new monthly figures in this format. So we will have heaps more of these columns, but the first one is always going to be the same. Again, in this example, warehouse column is never going to change, so we can select that and on the ribbon choose the unpivot other columns option. In real life examples, it is probably a crucial step or a best practice as we might have unknown number of columns. With this step, we can ensure that every single time when we refresh the data model, we will get the new columns transformed into a nice format. This is so nice, I like it. Now please remember that in most real life use cases, you will probably end up utilizing a combination of the three data transformation techniques to achieve a data structure that you can easily use and analyze. Thanks for joining me today. Hopefully with this demo, you will be able to improve your data transformation skills. Make sure to like the video and don't forget to subscribe to the channel so you never miss a new episode. Until then, see ya.